What did they see in the sky and how does the progression of thought assimilate over time as these witnesses pass the information on through the ages? A test to remember the power of thought. Wait till you hear this. The Thunderbird is a widespread figure in Native American mythology, described as a supernatural being. The enormous bird was a symbol of power and strength that protected humans from evil spirits. Apparently so called the Thunderbird because its flapping of its powerful wings sounded like thunder, and lightning would shoot from its eyes. The Thunderbirds brought rain and storms, which could be bad or good. Good when the rain was needed, but bad when rain came with destructive strong winds, floods and fires caused by the lightning. If you haven't already guessed it, the Thunderbird was a Squatterman event, as witnessed in the sky by the Native American ancestors. And this figure that they saw in the sky was said to be so large that it would engulf the entire planet, and they lived in the clouds high above the tallest mountains. And just as the Greek gods lived on the highest mountain, the Thunderbird too was perceived in this way. Various tribes have oral traditions about the magical Thunderbird, which they both highly respected and feared. Each story, of course, is a perception of thought, exaggerated over time, but important fundamental details remain. In Grovant traditions, it was the Thunderbird who gave the sacred pipe to the people. Some plains tribes, including the Arapaho, associated Thunderbirds with the summer season, while the White Owl represented the winter season. In other Indian mythologies, the Thunderbird controls the upper world, while the underworld is controlled by the underworld panther, or the great horned serpent, from which the Thunderbird protects humans by throwing lightning at it, and we can connect this venture with the sun god Ra. Sailing the solar bark and defeating the serpent Apophis each night to ensure the light would prevail. These details from America and Egypt are closely connected because this is how they saw it in the sky. Their perceptions across the planet are the same because they saw the same thing, the Taurus field. According to the legends, the Thunderbirds were the ancestors of the human race and helped to create the universe. The Menominee of Wisconsin tell of a great mountain that floats in the western sky, upon which the Thunderbirds live, and it's from there that they control the rain. They are the enemies of the great horned snakes called the which they fight with to prevent them from overrunning the earth and devouring mankind. They are the messengers of the Great Sun himself and delight in the deeds of greatness, the Great Sun having once existed alone before descending into catastrophe. Other tribe versions of the stories remain similar, in that the Thunderbirds fight underwater spirits. Their traditions also say that the Thunderbird is responsible for punishing humans who break moral rules. The Native Americans state that the Great Bird was created by Nana Bozo, a high spirit and a cultural hero, and that the birds lived in the four directions and they migrated to Ojibwe lands during the spring with other birds. They stayed there until the fall, when the most dangerous seasons for the underwater spirits had passed, at which time they migrated south with other birds again. Some believed that they were shapeshifters who would often change their appearance to interact with people. The shapeshifter description is also accurate as the manifestation went through discrete phases over a very long period of time. In some tribes, Thunderbirds were considered extremely sacred forces of nature, while in other tribes they were treated like powerful but otherwise ordinary members of the animal kingdom. Many legends reference the anger of the Thunderbirds as something fearsome to behold, which could result in harsh punishments for the observers. And in one story, an entire village was turned into stone for their wrongdoings. This was out of their control, and it was indiscriminately bombarding the earth at random with plasma. This was the anger of the gods, and a traumatised people tried in vain to understand this cataclysmic happening in the sky. Throughout their history, the Thunderbird symbol has appeared on totem poles, pottery and petroglyphs. And from these petroglyphs linked all across the world, Anthony Parat has shown a global connection of perception. 
but these are not abstract figures, these are details of events once witnessed in the sky. But what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.